After the amazing turnout for your AU Ominous, and how are you feeling about these new and upcoming AUs? Love you so much. Keep going, love. I love this person so much. She's my number one subscriber. Um, I'll tell you this much. When I first wrote Ominous, I was so, like I said, I was in my depressed state. I didn't know what to do, so I, stories is what made me feel better. When I wrote Ominous, I literally just had like 10 reads. 15 reads, no stars, no votes or anything on my story until suddenly when my best friends and my subscribers started spamming my AU um, so Jose Ochoa can read it and the fact that when I, and it's funny because the first time I saw it blow up was when he was reacting to it and I was like, que lo que? Like I was honestly so grateful. I didn't even care about the amount of <laughs> reads I had. I'm not even kidding. I did it like it skyrocketed to like 100, 200, 600. And I was like, okay, yeah, that's good and all. But Jose read my story. So like, I guess the excitement was him reading my story and not so much. Oh my God, I got this many reads. Like I was just like, he really read my story and his reaction. Like, I was like, it was really cool. I'm really grateful. That's one because Ominous is probably one of my favorite stories and for the new upcoming AUs I'm excited for because I planned them also and um, I'm really excited for the new AUs that I'm making and I really hope you guys can enjoy them too because they're stories that mean a lot to me. Question number two. How much do you love BTS and who's your bias? Mine is Tay Cook. By the way, I love you. Well, as I said in my other video, I mean, there's no much more explanation I can say for that. But how much do I love BTS? Girl, if you put... I don't even know how to explain this. Up to the heavens, the sky, and the dark hole. That's how much I love them. Like, I will literally shave their legs if I wanted to. Okay, that's a little nasty, but... You know what I mean. I love them galore. No words can describe how much I love them. I just with all my heart and I will forever love them I mean come on question number three do you have a bias record in BTS At least question number four what favorite song of yours would you like BTS to cover if they could male or female Ooh, I like this question hold up hold up mm, 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 mm. but I want you ready for this Jungkook and Jimin or just any solo vocalist from BTS whether it's V, Jin, Jimin or Jungkook I want them to cover the song Dreaming of You by Selena Quintanilla Perez. I'm not even kidding. I want one of the members to sing her song. And I, I'm kind of wanting one of them to sing it in Spanish. Only because it'd be lit. I'll tell you that much. Honestly, to see, or like, not to see, to hear one of the members sing a Selena song. I think not only will my wig fly off, I'd fall on the floor, I wouldn't get back up. You're gonna see me in another dark hole, that don't sound right. Alright guys, so that's the end of my Q&A for today. Thank you guys so much for the lovely questions. <laughs> I love you guys so much, stay tuned for the next video. Like, comment, subscribe below, and I will see you guys next time.